Chi-Chi doesn't know that we're here. She still thinks you're dead. So why are you all here again? Well, when little Shane did his comic book about his dad, the war hero, the superhero, sorry. Anyway, we wanted to do something for him. He's such a great kid. So we thought we'd look up your family and ask them if they would allow Gigi to legally prove that you're Shane's father. That way he would get the benefits that he's entitled to as a veteran son. Imagine our surprise when we found out you were still alive. Is Shane, is he sick or something? Asthma. Gigi has to work day and night just to be able to pay for his treatment. Wow. And with her new job, you know, we don't know how long it's going to last. It's, her whole life is uncertain. She needs some backup. And you know, we aren't going to tell her that we found you unless you're going back to her. We're talking about your son and the woman that you loved. Look, Gigi's had it tough, and it's not fair that she has to take care of herself and Shane all on her own. So come to Landview with us. Go see Gigi. Tell her she's not alone anymore. Now, where were we? Uh, you, you can unlock the door. Nothing's gonna happen with us. Okay, I know your mom and Charlie showing up was a bit of a cold shower. It was a dose of reality, Jared. What was happening between us was reality, Natalie. I lost my head. And now I've got it back. I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't mean to hurt you. You sure? Well, I think I'm done. It's late. I'm going home, so I'll see you tomorrow. Sleep well. You too. If you can. You know that Natalie had feelings for Jared before she found out that they were related, right? Well, I'm not exactly sure what's going on between them, but I know that Natalie is very uncomfortable working with him. It's a tough situation. Yeah. I don't think she should continue working at the... Well, I thought she liked it there. She does. She likes the work. But she finds it impossible to spend the day around Jared. And then, of course, this is whole business with her father. What, did something else happen? Yeah. Clint is really playing hardball with his competitors. And his latest target is actually an old friend of mine who's a very decent fellow. I'm going to see if I can't do something about that. This is not your business, Rex. And I think I figured out what's really going on. Why you don't want to talk about Shane's father. You couldn't know. He's not the hero type, right? That's what you don't want Shane to know. Shane's father was the most amazing man I've ever met. And the reason I don't want to talk about it is because it hurts too damn much. I, I, I didn't mean to make you feel bad. I just th thought that you'd want to know how Shane's feeling. You don't think I already know, Rex? He's my son. And he's growing up. Gigi, he's not going to stop asking questions. I told him that his father was a hero that loved us. And that's all he needs to know. I have to get out of here. Think about it, Brody. Think about the look on Gigi's face when her hero comes walking through the door. She wouldn't be a little suspicious that I just, out of the blue, track her down after all these years? I've already thought about how you're going to explain that. Gigi and Shane were living in Paris, Texas, and a few months ago, there was an incident there. It was in papers all over the country. Gigi and Shane's names were mentioned several times. You could have seen the names in the newspaper, tracked them down to Texas, and then on to Landview, Pennsylvania. Oh, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. And if you do decide to go to Landview, I promise you I will take care of all of your financial needs until you're on your feet. You're offering me money? Well, all of you money. You, Gigi, and dear little Shane. There is a limo outside and a private jet waiting to take us back to Landview.
the limo. Private jet. With champagne on board. And you? And Layla, too. What the hell? Wow, you guys. But just need a bit of a sleaze. Don't worry. By the time I'm done cleaning him up, he'll be every bit the hero that Shane says he is. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Mm. Rex! Hi, honey. Where are you? Uh, still at PE. Really? How's Gigi? Okay. I guess. Where are you at? I'll pick you up for dinner. I... I ended up having to fly out and meet Layla. That business deal was a little bit more complicated than we thought it was. I should be back in a few hours. Everything under control? Oh, yeah. The deal is signed, sealed, and soon to be delivered. Mom, what's wrong? Hey, guys, what's up? You look like you're gonna cry. No, no, I just have something on my eye. Let me see that comic book. Uh, Mom, can I ask one question about my dad? Just one, I promise. Sure. What was he like? Besides brave. Besides brave? He was sweet and funny. And I treasure every minute I spent with him. Hey, did you talk to Coach? Yeah, he made me clean out the locker room for missing practice, whatever. Did you talk to the guy about Star's ID? Just got off the phone with him. Star's ID should be ready in a few hours. Yes. Where is she? I, I don't know. She just took off. She seemed kind of upset. You know, dude, I thought I had it all figured out. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, maybe Star's right. Maybe I am crazy. No, Cole. You're right. I mean, you sure about this? Okay. Backing off. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push. No, Cole, you're right. If we're gonna have this baby and we want to be together, this is the only way. Trust me. You run away and marry me? Of course. You're my family now. We're gonna be together. What's it gonna take for you to get everything together? Well, we can't chance that someone's gonna catch on to what we're doing. We have to leave tonight.